Hello everyone, it's Erin Flota here and I am here with my Plan My Day series. This is day number six. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be a very long day because I did not sleep very well and I only got about five and a half to six hours of sleep so I am not excited. Um, okay, so let's go through my monthly trackers. My dog is in here because she likes lots of attention in the morning and she has a toy with her. So I'm sorry in advance if you can hear anything that happens. Okay, so let's start with my habit trackers. I already wrote down what is going on with my screen time tracker. All the things. Poor Malia did not get walked yesterday because she, because it was raining all day and she hates the rain. So she only got to go out a couple times and I feel really bad for her. So it's supposedly not supposed to rain today. Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny today. So I'll take her for an extra long walk so that she is feeling much better. She is a Husky, so it is very important for Huskies to get walked a lot. Okay, I have a couple more questions. Um, I'm gonna keep putting these up on my Instagram stories and you can comment down below if you have any questions. The first question is, what are my plans for November? So my plans for November are mostly nothing. I'm just kind of trying to get through the month. November is a hard time for me because I do a lot of business stuff and I'm trying to keep from drowning <laughs> between all of it. So mostly working on the annual designs. We don't really have Thanksgiving plans yet. We floated the idea of having like a bunch of friends over because we're one of the like, I guess, few people that have kind of more of a grounded home situation. So we're talking about having some of our friends over, some of Tyler's old roommate, his cousin, a bunch of medical people. So we're talking about that. Yesterday, what was yesterday? I'm just going to put content. I don't really have a feeling one way or the other about how yesterday went. Okay, so content is the word. Another question I had was how long does it take to film and set up your bullet journal? So I would say that my setup without doing questions and things like that, um, my normal weekly setup takes probably about 15 minutes. Filming and doing questions, that's more in the 20 to 25 minute range. Doing a whole monthly setup, depending on if I'm doing watercolors, for example, can take about 45 minutes, but that's usually because I have to sit in, like I have to wait for parts to dry because typically I don't do papers between things. I, I just sit and let them sit and dry for a little bit. So my one line for yesterday was that the banana bread tasted so good. I'm, I didn't make the banana bread. I did not make the apple pie yet. And it did taste extremely delicious. Moving on, going through, I marked everything off yesterday. I need to do this referral. Um, I don't think I actually need to do the us templates now that I looked at the email. This needs to get forwarded. I I got some e emails yesterday and it kind of threw off like my whole day. So most of the stuff that I wanted to do didn't really get done and the other stuff got done instead.
Okay, I'm leaving some room on my list because of what happened yesterday with the emails. So I have to email out the agenda that I created yesterday. Sorry that I'm moving this all over the screen. <laughs> I have to do my time card because next week is Veterans Day. So we have to submit our time cards early and it, the time card takes an annoying amount of time to do. It, it actually takes like close to an hour for me to complete our time card with how it's set up right now. The system is just terrible. I have to work on the EMLS documents that I referred to in the emails yesterday and then the referral. And then I think I'm gonna leave it there and then see how things go. Uh, I have to clean a bunch of stuff. I have to actually, right after I finish this, I have to put the recycling and trash out before they come, apple pie, walking Malia. I wanted to make sure I put that on there just um, to make sure that it's kind of a longer walk. And then I have, of course, the plan my day series and annual designs. And I don't think I have anything other than that at this point. And I will finish with another question. That one will probably take too long to answer. So what brought you to Syracuse, New York? I visited once. I visit once a year to go to a Cuse Orangeman game. Well, go Cuse. Um, I am not a Cuse fan by nature. I grew up in Florida and my team is the South Florida Bulls. Um, they stink at everything though. So uh, we, we've had our years, but uh, we haven't had the best coaching situation for football. And then for basketball, um, we're in a pretty tough conference. So it's hard for us. <laughs> and our best player just got hurt. I. I'm in Syracuse, New York because my husband's residency is here. And while I am injured um, and recovering from my ACL surgery, I am working from home from this location. Starting in January, basically, I will be back to going back and forth between New York City and Syracuse, which will be terrible but um money is money and you can't turn down city money so <laughs> i am here for the long haul for years um and then trying to figure out my work situation outside of that so that is why i am here because he has his medical uh residency here so i will leave the rest of the questions for later on um, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when I post. I'm trying to schedule them around noon, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer to edit the videos. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.